guys welcome back to the channel I'm gonna be making some grouper today for you guys um, this is a fish that I actually caught yesterday as you can see in the video and um, grouper is one of the best uh, fish that we catch here in Florida we're gonna be making a uh, bait uh, fish fillet recipe with butter and uh, lemon juice and um, some seasonings so um, let's get to it Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do with this fish is we're going to fillet it and then we're going to cut the head from it to use it for, for our soup. And usually to fillet you want to begin here and then you want to cut along the bone. And run your fingers through it and with the tip of the knife you can feel the backbone on the fish. Let it guide you across. And that's the spine. And you want to run the tip of the knife along the spines until you hear it so you don't leave any meat. Here you want to cut across. Behind the head. Down. There's a bone here that we're going to actually use for the soup also. Cut around that bottom fin. Same thing. Use the bones as a guide for your knife. couple of different ways people do fillets you can either scale the fish leave the skin on or you can skin it on this fish I'm gonna leave the skin on I scaled it because I came in late and um, I had to I just scaled it and gutted it and put it in the refrigerator so I could fillet it the next day um, groupers don't have any fishy taste on, um, on their skin or anything like that and they're real thin it's not like a um, other fish, you know, like snook or fish like that, that have um, actually a very, very fishy type of taste in their skin. With snook, you do have to skin them or you won't be able to eat the fish. So, something to keep in mind. That little bit of meat on the rib cage is actually. And when you do a good fillet, you want to take the fish up and make sure that you can see light through the skeleton. There's nothing left on the bones. The rest of this stuff we're going to use for soup. We're going to cut the head and then use that for our fish soup. So now that we have our two clean fillets, there's actually some bones left in here. And we want to make sure we get them out. There's the pin bones that run right across here in the middle of the fillet. You want to make sure you get those out. People that leave them in, them in, but personally I don't like any, any bones on my fish for way. So you gotta make sure you get them out. They're right there in between. Just a little strip. 
strip of bone. Just one completely clean fillet there. No bones, nothing left on it. And this one, they're the same thing. Right between the two fillets, is these pin bones on the fish that you want to make sure you get them out. You can feel them with your finger between the, the bottom side of the fillet and the top. You run your fingers through there, you're going to feel about a little row of bones. It's called the pin bones. And what you want to do is make sure you come in with your knife, just a little strip, cut them out. So that's basically it. Now we're going to take it over, wash it off, and prepare it for, uh, for baking. So what we're going to do is cut this fillet into four equal pieces, and then we're going to bake it in the oven. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some limes, spray on the bottom of the pan, fire racks to fit our fish in it. Set it in. You guys don't have to use grouper for this recipe. I mean, you could use any fish. If you go to your your local uh, fish market and you get yourself some whole fish, you guys can do this recipe without wasting any parts of the fish. You could actually use everything. And a lot of the nutrition um, is in that bone broth. Like I said to you guys, the, the fish collagen is really, really good. Um, it's great for healing uh, your your gut, your intestines. Um, if you have any, any intestinal discomfort, collagen is a great thing for that. Collagen is also great for your tendons and ligaments. And um, it's just an overall really, really good um, thing to have is, is fish soup or bone broth soup, which I'll be doing a recipe on that later on in the channel. Put the lime juice over the fish. Just get a good amount of it. I'm using about one and a half limes for this. So once I'm done with that, I've actually got some, some clarified butter over here. I'm gonna put also over the fish and I'm using Kerrygold butter and once that's done it's just very simple just basically three ingredients once you got the fillets so I'm using Old Bay seasoning and uh, for you guys that fish or know about fishing uh, you guys know how good this stuff is. Most fishermen use Old Bay for a lot of their recipes. Uh, if you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. This stuff is really, really good for fish. Whether it's fried or baked like this, or if you're doing a, um, a shrimp boil or any of those recipes like that, it's, Old Bay is awesome. And our group of fillets are ready to, to be baked. So basically that's what we have. And then we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes or so um, until the fish is cooked through. Okay guys, so basically a grouper is done. Here's the fillets. And we, we can serve this. If you're doing a keto diet, you can have it with cauliflower mash, which I'll put the, the link to that recipe um, right there above. And uh, you can do it with, um, with zucchini noodles, or you can have it with a salad. Um, I have plenty of different salad recipes, keto friendly, here on, on the channel if you guys want to look for those. Um, if you're not doing keto, you can have this with rice, baked potato, uh, however, however you like. So, out of that fish, we probably got. Um, maybe four small servings of fish. Um, the thing about red grouper is that a lot of it is it's head and bones. It's got a very 
big head for the size of the fish. So that's why I like to use everything. Um, I use the head, the bones, and everything to make uh, fish bone broth or you know the soup. And I try to utilize every part of, of that fish. Um, I make a really, really good soup with that and you guys will see that on another recipe video that I'm also going to link here. Um, so there you have it. There's the, the, final, the final recipe done and um, you guys can try this with just fish fillets if you go to your fish market and you don't want to do all that cleaning and all that work and um, you buy fish fillets you could try this really simple recipe. Uh, just lemon, butter and Old Bay seasoning. You just bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at 425 degrees and you have a nice delicious uh, baked fish uh, recipe that you can have if you're doing keto or any other type of diet very high in protein and uh, very healthy so I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe I'll see you guys in the next one remember to subscribe and share the channel so we can continue to grow